The 2021 NCAA Women's Water Polo Championship decided today. Hi, everyone. Welcome on campus, UCLA Speaker Aquatic Center. Greg Meskel here with you for NCAA.com. You've got a classic battle across town, splashdown, the Battle of L.A. UCLA and USC meeting for the first time in the title bout since 2009. The Bruins coming at 15-4 and four on the year. The Trojans, the top seed, 21-1. and one. Fans are back in the facility. They're up top high in the parking garage here to cheer on a classic water polo battle between two of the best to ever do it. Here's a look at our bracket and how we have arrived on Championship Sunday. USC advancing past Marist and then Arizona State here to the Bruins. Meanwhile, UCLA, they had to get past Hawaii and then they were able to advance yesterday against Stanford. Here's a look back at what went on between UCLA and Stanford. Hot start for the Bruins, 3-0. They jump out on the defending champs. And from there, they took a punch. Stanford came back, tied it, took the lead. UCLA went back in front. And then eventually, the Bruins would close things out. Lexi Leibowitz and company put a capper. Brooke Maxson, a couple of devastating lobs. And that's the final by two. Adam Wright looking for his first title with the women's program. He's also the men's head coach. Won the 2020 postponed title just this past March. In his fourth season now leading the women's squad, the Bruin through and through, won a title here as an athlete before going on to a long international career. Now let's look across the way. The women of Troy, USC, powered through Maris, then dealt with Arizona State, who had visions of an upset. It was close early on, and then USC showing off that depth. Now Megan's hitting from the outside. Baritza Bakic continues to play well in this tournament, and it was a 10-4 win for the Trojans. They're back into the title game looking for their first title since 2018 as they prepare to take on the Bruins are led by Marco Pintarich. He's been part of this program for a very long time as an assistant coach, now just in his second overall year as the head coach. And much like Wright, he is a guy that knows the USC program all too well. There is a player like Wright won a championship there. Then a longtime member of the coaching staff there on the right of your picture, Marco Pintarich. Casey Moon, also a longtime member of this USC staff. As we are set to get things going here. Officials in this one, Danielle DeBagian, Darren Spiritosanto, Bruins in the white caps. Trojans in the maroon and gold. And it'll be USC sprinting, but UCLA getting there first. UCLA goes with Jamia Bent in the cage, Hannah Palmer, Bella Baia, Annalise Miller, Katrina Drake, Brooke Max, and Lex Leibowitz, same starting group as yesterday. We'll look at USC momentarily. Here's Leibowitz now. Works here to Hannah Palmer. Now Leibowitz near side. Opening possession of this national title game between USC and UCLA. These two split in two meetings earlier this year. And now meeting here for the title. Shot clock to three. Leibowitz running out of time. She'll dump this aside. Holly Parker will come and pick it up. She goes in goal for USC, joined by Mount Megans, Grace Tahaney, Maria Giral, Bailey Weber, Denise Mamolito, and Kelsey McIntosh, the starting group for the Trojans. Here's a look at Mamolito now controlling. Picked up there by Palmer. McIntosh now out high. UCLA only team to beat USC this season. And in convincing fashion, too, in one of their two meetings. Here's McIntosh now. Belly Weber posting. Shot clock to eight. Tahaney pushed out a bit. Goes inside of Weber. Tries to spin inside. Still working. Cross cage. That'll go. Score it for USC. They're on the board first. Able to get that one beyond the reach of Jamia Bent and Bailey Weber hitting early as USC takes the lead, 1-0. Second look here. Leibowitz defending, Weber keeps working, pops it over the top, and that one will ride the wave into the cage. Putting that past Jamia Bent, who played just out of her mind yesterday, 18 huge saves in the win over Stanford. USC now turns it over, Weber's played well, as well in this turn. Here's to Haney with the advantage. Trojans can make a statement early. Left-hander on the move. Defenders giving chase. Dehaney puts on the brakes and hits. Two quick ones. USC leads 2-0. Grace Dehaney, the junior. 
her 34th of the year. And both teams head to their bench. UCLA will go a full line change here. Second look, the counterattack. Giral, head up to Haney, room to operate. Two Bruins give chase. A little fake there that brings Bent to that near post and then goes across the way for the score. To Haney, two important goals yesterday in the win over Arizona State. Trojans looking for their first title since 2018. UCLA a much longer drought, looking for their first crown since 2009. Bruins on the move right inside and right to work with Ava Johnson. The exclusion is called against Weber. First power play here for the Bruins. Abby Hill has come on. Hill gives a look now, works to Malia Allen. Now around the way, here's Val Ayala. Power play underway. Roxy Wheaton gives a look, nothing there. She'll work it around Allen. Out high now, Ayala walks it in. Hill, swinging around, Wheaton got it to go. Power plays there for the Bruins. Roxy Wheaton is on the board. The senior has her first. And that's the first goal in this one for the Bruins. Just as the exclusion was winding down, patience here on the attack. And Wheaton able to connect cross cage. Wheaton has seen a little bit of her production drop, the depth of this year's Bruins squads, the emergence of Malia Allen has offered some more playing time for the freshman, but Wheaton coming up clutch here in this championship match to start. Here's Tahaney now. Here's Bakic. She's come on, left-hander waves it around and hits. Veritza Bakic continues. Had three goals yesterday against Arizona State, and the senior has her first tier 3 1 lead for USC. In off the bench and able to connect. Now Ayala pressured. Hill controls outside. Johnson working in close against Mamalito. SC ready to drop if help is needed. Wheaton now takes a look. Swing it near side, here's Allen. Ayala, shot clock to 13, into Johnson, tries to spin, what a move! Ava Johnson, reverse wheel inside and hits. It's a 3-2 game. This is nicely done by the center. Takes the entry in and then boom, spin and in. And the Bruin fans, many in their competition gear here in the stands, liking what they're seeing after that delivery, 3-2. UCLA getting one back. 27th on the year for Ava Johnson out of Los Lomas High School in Northern California. Mamalito now. Here's Kelsey McIntosh. From the outside, Bent. Jamia Bent is there with the right hand. The senior seemed to get her hands near just about everything yesterday. And makes the save here on the outside try from McIntosh. Now Leibowitz. Just about halfway through this first quarter, high energy start. You'd expect nothing less with USC and UCLA meeting for a title. Ayala works along two meters, had an opening. Parker up big, danger, and she bats it away. That was a close call. Bella Baya was in a great spot, but Holly Parker reads that one cleanly to tip it away. Look at this, Baya's right there. Parker using all of that 5-10 frame to get up high and knock it away. But then it was dancing very close to that goal line. You see sometimes goalies inadvertently knock that back into the cage. Parker wisely able to get rid of it. Garibet now. Sabrina Garibet, the left-hander. Entry in, shot clock to seven. Working for gear all. First power play coming for USC. Exclusion goes on the Bruins. Trojans now on the attack, shot clock resets. Under three and a half to play, first quarter. Garibet now, McIntosh. Here's Mamalito out high. They're working around the perimeter. Yanov has come on. 
Mamalito takes it. That was partially field blocked. Sides come even. A chase for it, and the Bruins kill off the power play. They'll have it back. Anna Palmer now. Here's Ayala. Leibowitz in at two meters, working with Weber. They'll go back out to Drake. Ordinary called, under three to play. First quarter, 3-2 lead into Leibowitz. The turn, lots of white water, a crash from Gearall, and the takeaway. USC surrounds the left-hander. A triple team arrives, and Holly Parker will control. McIntosh now. Bailey Weber. McIntosh takes a look. Moves it in. Plenty of time. Mamalito now. Working inside. Gets rid of the defender but can't hang on. Bent comes up with it. Palmer's there as well. Mamalito able to work inside the defender. Might have been playing for a penalty. Didn't get it. Here's a second look. Turns inside, let's go with that ball, but you see defender both arms up, selling that clean defense. And now we go the other way. Here's Ayala. Yanov, Leibowitz. Leibowitz trying to gather, but her head's underwater. The ball's on the surface. Parker comes over. And it's back to Holly Parker, the keeper. 1.45 to go, first quarter. Bit of an overcast day, Sun. Going in and out from behind the clouds as we work towards the end of this first quarter. Giral, the junior from Spain. Moves to Garibet. Now Giral will get an exclusion tug on the suit. Power play for USC, their second crack at it. Mamalito now. Timeout called, and Marco Pintarch will take a timeout. Exclusion goes on Bella Baia. That is her first. And USC will use their first timeout with 1.19 to go in the first quarter. Trojans in front, 3-2. Told you these two teams met twice this year, back on April 24th, April 25th. The first, a 5-3 win for UCLA, rather for USC. And then the next day, that was the big win for UCLA, 13-6, which raised some eyebrows. U USC was not handled by anybody this season with a score like that. And Coach Pintard said just one of those days they just didn't uh, execute the way they would have liked to. And of course, credit to UCLA, a good team. But this one all the more important here in the championship. Out of the timeout, the exclusion. Six on five for USC. Megan's gives a look, sides coming even now. Whip it to Bailey, Weber bent, knocks it down, and then tosses it over to Drake. This is still in a problem area. And then the ordinary, and the ball back to UCLA. So the Trojans 0 for 2 right now on the advantage. Second look here at Bent. That one almost full. They're able to come back with that second effort with the left to scoop it out of the cage. And less than a minute to play, first quarter. Johnson in at 2 meters. Trojans preparing with a double team. Skip shot, Parker. Got it, but it's out of play on the try from Hannah Palmer. Ball will come back in, two meters, new shot clock, two second differential here, shot and game clock as we wind down this first quarter. Ayala now controls. In at two meters, an exclusion. This will go against Mamalito. Disbelief from Pintaric. The exclusion on Mamalito. USC thought they had a steal there, but it'll stay with UCLA on the advantage. Abby Hill takes a look, field block is there. Bailey Weber got in the way of that one to cancel out the Bruins' advantage. Sides are even, shot clock is off, 15 seconds left here in the first. Trojans with one more chance to add as we come to the end of this opening quarter. Work it inside, backhand is there! Giral puts it right past Bent. Two goal lead for USC, 4-2, five seconds to play in the first quarter. Megan's the quick entry and the backhand. 
Bent was there, just couldn't track it the whole way. And Mireille Giral, the junior from Barcelona, has her 23rd goal. One more for the Bruins. Bent gives a look, two on the clock. She'll let it fly, and that one is off target. Parker bats it away, and that's all for the opening eight minutes in this national title bout. USC with a strong start, 4-2. They jump out to lead over UCLA, and they got things going early on. Again, we've talked about their balance. All tournament long, gear all the latest, one of four different goal scorers in this first And we're back, UCLA and Trojans and Bruins supporters side by side here. Limited attendance allowed here on Championship Sunday, but fans are thrilled to be able to cheer on their squads. And we're talking about a couple of powerhouses. Look at what these two teams have done, not just in national championships, but then also the athletes they've sent on. Their dominance, both over 500 victories we're talking about in the NCAA championship era here, which this is the 20th anniversary. It started in 2001, and it's the ninth meeting in the NCAA tournament. It's been largely the Bruins, six and two overall. USC did take the last one, but in title bouts, UCLA 3-0 against USC, and this is an Olympic year, so worth noting all those Olympians, all those medals, athletes from both squads, not playing with their team in this tournament because they're training with Team USA. Maddie Musselman for UCLA, Paige Hoschild for USC, to name a couple of athletes that plan to return to their squads next year after the Tokyo Olympic Games. But we're underway now in the second. UCLA trailing USC 4-2. Giral with that swift backhand to close out the first quarter and give the Trojans a two-goal lead. Heavy pressure here from SC to start things off, and a little too heavy. That's Grace Tahaney getting excluded. And UCLA on the advantage now. One for two thus far. Roxy Wheaton walks along two meters. Now Leibowitz. Out high, Ayala. Drake, that's knocked down by Parker. Can't stay inbounds. It'll stay with UCLA. Still holding possession. Advantage close to expiring here for UCLA. Dangerous pass from Wheaton. Leibowitz does just enough to keep that away from Bailey Weber. Sides are even now. Power play is over for UCLA. Here's Leibowitz. Skip shot off the post. Gets her own rebound. And she'll settle things down. That's Drake working on Megan's inside. McIntosh ready to drop. It'll leave someone open out high for the moment. Ayala, let's fly. Parker gets another piece. Holly Parker tipping that one up over the cage and out. And again, a new shot clock now for UCLA. Opening minute here in the second quarter. Ayala, Mamalito the ordinary. Now Drake, let's fly. Parker racking up the saves to start this second quarter. Gives a fist pump and prepares to set up the offense. Three stops for Holly Parker on this series. On the other end now, Weber moves out to Megan's. Now around to McIntosh. Shot clock to 14. Megan's loads it up and hits. High corner. Mound Megan's. Five goals for USC, five different scores. The redshirt senior from Rotterdam in the Netherlands has her 45th on the year. Now Megan's helping the Dutch qualify for the Olympic Games. Planning to be in Tokyo this summer. But first things first, the fifth goal in this one for USC. For the MPSF tourney, most valuable player. She won it this year, won it in 2018 as well. Anna Palmer moves ahead. Leah Allen. 
Johnson back into two meters. Here comes the entry. Double team was there right away. Megan's lurking from behind. Lucas, the initial defender, then now Megan's comes over to help. Now to Haney on the counter. Tahaney moves it in, swings it to Weber. She has time. The skip is there. Everything working for the Trojans right now as Bailey Weber connects. She has two. And a timeout called by UCLA. A 6-2 lead for the Trojans. An excellent start. And the USC fans vocal here. Loving the beginning. Again, SC on that counter, kind of that secondary break here. And Weber gives a couple of fakes, has a wide open lane to shoot through, goes cross cage and in. Bailey Weber now a junior out of Los Alamitos High School and has been an important part of this team since day one. Big standout in Orange County in her high school days. 2018, Orange County Water Polo Player of the Year piled up 125 goals in her senior year. Now has 34 in this junior campaign. Well, UCLA, this is what they did to Stanford yesterday, where they jumped out to the big lead, and then Stanford settled in and had the battle back. And so now UCLA will have to do this against the Trojans. And very different beginnings. You go back to Hawaii and that match for UCLA. And the Rainbow Wahine took a lead early in that one as well. And talking with some of the UCLA folks, part of that was the lack of familiarity with this Hawaii team. They haven't played them all season long, hadn't seen them that much. Hawaii only played about 12 games. That element of surprise, always valuable. Conversely, they had seen the Stanford team prior to their matchup yesterday. Came out very strong. And at this point, especially when you get to these championship games, you have two conference rivals. They know each other very well when it comes to preparation. Out of the timeout, bent, ready to put things in play. To Leibowitz. UCLA, a lot of drives through, a lot of crisscrossing, and now they're ready. Abby Hill posting up. Here's Ayala. Working for Johnson. Quick turn, Parker's there. Another for Holly Parker with 5.33 to play. Again, Johnson getting a little space. She has to work so hard just to get that opportunity. And then credit Parker, who is reading it the whole way. Now Megan's. Ordinary as backage controls. Nearing the five minute mark in the second quarter. Megan's. Shot clock to six. Backage with four. Got another. Veritza Backage. And USC. Up 7-2 now, and UCLA is going to make a change. Georgia Phillips is into the water, and she is coming on, and Jamia Bent will sub out. And no coach looks forward to having to make this call, but for as locked in as Jamia Bent was yesterday, 18 saves in that win over Stanford. USC, seven quick ones here. And we still have five minutes to go in the second quarter. If you follow this UCLA team throughout the season, rare that someone would start three games in a row. Goal, they had really been alternating between Phillips and Bent. Adam Wright said just no keeper had really emerged as the one. They were both doing such a nice job. And so now Georgia Phillips didn't get much time to warm up, so she pretty much jumped in and swam into the goal. Of course, warmed up with the team, but we'll see how she does on the first shot attempt here. It's a 7-2 lead for USC. Here's McIntosh, off the post. 
And Phillips able to gather. Georgia Phillips, the redshirt sophomore of Fresno, California, Clovis North High School. Brooke Maxson. Heavy pressure from Lucas. Now Hannah Palmer. Palmer getting pushed out. Now Maxson nearly into the backcourt. And there she goes. Shot clock to eight. Trojans bottling up the Bruins on this possession. This is stifling defense. And Palmer will toss it away on the dump with 3.48 to play in the second quarter. Megans. Works to Bakuch. Now Weber tosses it inside. Big spin and an exclusion. Gear all working past Maxson. Exclusion on Maxson. Power play for USC. Megan's up big. Weber lost the handle. Third power play try here for the Trojans. Weber gives a look. Now Megan's. A few fakes. McIntosh. Megan's great look. Gear all on the post. Textbook stuff from the Trojans. Make it 8-2. This is a six on five run to perfection. The patience, the passing, a few fakes, and then waiting for opportunity to arrive. Geral pops up on that far post. Sends it in, that's her second. And an 8-2 lead. And some disbelief on the face of the UCLA Bruins at this point. Roxy Wheaton. Under three to play, first half. Hill working to Allen. The skip, Holly Parker again. It's quite the combination right now for USC. It's their offensive balance, and then Holly Parker getting in front of just about everything. Megan's now, a few fakes. Swings to Garibet. Garibet faking, that's off the bar and away. Excellent beginning here for USC, trying to deliver the knockout punch in this first half. Here's Johnson, spins in, exclusion. UCLA goes up on the advantage. That was Julia Yanov. She's trying to sell the suit grab, but instead is kicked out. Allen, Ayala, a must have for UCLA, hitting on the power play. Val Ayala, her first. And UCLA stops the bleeding here for the moment. Second look on this power play. Ayala to the corner and in. And not many have gotten past Parker thus far. She's got seven saves, but credit Ayala for hitting there. 20th on the year for the junior from Foothill High School. Nearing the two minute mark in this first half. Exclusion on this end. Power play coming for USC. Minus Simmons going off. To Haney. Here's McIntosh. Left hander. Mamalito around the way. Megan's. Megan's. A skip. Low skip is there for Maud Megan's. And a 9-3 lead. Longest arms in the game, unofficially. The periscope is up and then down and in. 9-3. And a quick answer for the Trojans after UCLA got one back.
Hill now. Abby Hill takes a look and hits. Abby Hill coming right back. The sophomore from Santa Barbara. Calling for it. Juan of the Rock steps up and drills it. 9-4. UCLA starting to get their offense going a bit, but not in the position to match goals here, trailing by five. Although still plenty of time, nearing halftime here. 1.34 to go. Dehaney moves in, picked up there by Hill. Goes to Mamalito, low skip, that'll tuck inside the cage. Score it. Georgia Phillips had come over to the near post, couldn't get enough on that. And a yellow card now to Adam Wright. There is continued conversation with the officials. And a 10-4 lead for USC. This is going to be Mamalito along two meters. That is a tough angle, and it was actually the deflection off of Phillips that helped that one get further into the cage. And Mamalito has her first of the day. So again, USC really spreading it around here. Ayala now moving in. Penalty is the call. Val Ayala got inside position on Tahaney. Let go of the ball and draws the penalty. That will go on Grace Tahaney. That's her second foul. And now Abby Hill with a chance for her second goal. And now they're going to back up Hill. Everybody creeping in. Looks like they are still sorting it out. Hill <laughs> again lurking in. Here's Abby Hill. Puts it away. You could spend all day shuffling everyone in that game of musical chairs, but eventually they line them up, and Abby Hill goes for her second. And this was all the byproducts of Ayala. Got inside. And then savvy maneuver there to let go of the ball and draw that penalty. So 10-5 now. USC still well in command. They have been in control of this one since the early moments. USC has led since the beginning, since 1-0 here. McIntosh. From behind, help is there. Ayala comes across to take that one away. When UCLA beat USC this year, Val Ayala was a huge part of it. She had four goals in the win over the Trojans earlier this season. The exclusion. That will go against Mount Megans, working on Ava Johnson. Exposure call there against Megans. Power play now for UCLA. Leibowitz now. Palmer moves it in. Palmer, field block, up high, tipped up, a fight for it, and it's taken away by Mamalito. And it stays 10-5. Second look here, that's a good field block. That's help there from Giral. And then like a center fielder, Palmer tracking that one to keep it out of the cage. That pass gets away from USC. Phillips will have it back. Just about out of time here in this first half. Phillips lets fly, and that is off target. And the second quarter is complete. USC taking charge. Women of Troy building a large lead. They maintain a 10-5 advantage as we've reached halftime here in the NCAA championship final. Trojans, they spread it around. Bailey Weber, Nerea Giral, Maud Megans, all with two goals apiece. And then Holly Parker in cage, the veteran of this USC program. Eight saves, adds a steal, all part of the Trojans.
And welcome back. Halftime just about complete here at the 2021 NCAA Women's Water Polo Championship. USC, a fantastic start. They jump out on UCLA 10-5 through two quarters. How did it happen? Well, they went on a five-goal run in that first half, and they spread it around on offense. Three different players, two goals apiece. UCLA eventually subs out Jamia Bent. They bring in Georgia Phillips. The Bruins do eventually show some signs of life here to stop the bleeding after it was an 8-2 USC lead. It's now 10-5 as we get started in this third quarter. And it looks as if we will jump it up here between Mamalito and Val Ayala. And that one will go to Mamalito and the Trojans as we get underway in this third quarter. USC moving right to left on your screen. Let's see what they come out with here. Well, it's going to be a contra foul. That's what they'll start with. And UCLA will take control. Bruins, plenty of time here to work their way back in. USC, you can be sure, knows a rally attempt is coming. Entry into Johnson. Quick move. Parker got a fingertip. They'll score it. Holly Parker got a lot, but not all of it. And that's an excellent start for UCLA and Ava Johnson. That's her second. We'll get a second look at this one. They go right inside two meters, a little layout, and that one just trickling beyond the reach of Parker, who's played so well thus far. Make it a four-goal game. UCLA shuffles their starting lineup. Hill gets the nod here in the second half, as does Ayala. They put out a starting lineup that leaves a ton of town on their bench it shows you how deep they are as well Ava Johnson goes to start this second half as well she just scored here's McIntosh now dealing with Ayala big drive through a lot of Whitewater exclusion that will go on Ava Johnson that's her first power play here for the women of Troy now Megan's now McIntosh Megan's moving in McIntosh gives a look. Here's Bakuch. A few fakes. Got it to go. Veritza Bakuch continues a fantastic NCAA tournament. She has her second and the fourth USC Trojan in this game to have two goals. Left-hander Ayala presses up, tries to knock her down, but the shot is on the way. And the power play is good to go for USC. Eleven six lead. USC now three for five on the power play. Brooke Maxson, three big goals yesterday in the win over Stanford. Ava Johnson working in close. Maxson takes a look. Now Palmer, entry in. Johnson deals it out but doesn't get much on that pass. It was deflected as Mamalito came over to assist Weber. USC has been ready on the crash throughout in this one. And it's worked a number of times. Here's Megan's pushed into the corner. Now Mamalito. Dangerous pass and that's because now Megan's was being submerged by Hannah Palmer, who's been excluded. Six on five chance here for the Trojans. They're sixth. Garibet now. Here's Mamalito. Now Megan's. Megan's loading it up. Works to Weber. Good angle. Good result. Bailey Weber. She has a hat trick. And the Trojans have their fourth power play connect. Again, the patience stands out for USC. Also, we talk about it often. You know what good teams do on power plays? Never drop the ball. That didn't hit the water as it worked its way around. And Weber puts it home. This is a big difference from the meeting earlier in the year where USC won 5-3. Both teams struggled mightily on the power play. USC clicking right now at four of six. 
12-6 lead for USC. Here's Palmer. Ayala, now Hill. Hill gives a look, lets it fly, and Weber was ready for it. The field block is there, a race for it. And it'll stay with UCLA as it hit off the end line. Last touch, USC. And now an exclusion. Six on five here for the Bruins. Their sixth opportunity. Bakach goes out. Power play to the Bruins. Allen now works to Palmer. Around the way, here's Ayala. Leibowitz working on one side, Drake on the other. Sides coming even. Allen now, Palmer, power plays over. Hill, around the way, Ayala, Parker. Parker, big time stop. The exclusion had ended. Bruins now two for six. Holly Parker is there to knock it down. Ranging right. At Laguna Beach High School, annually one of the best teams, makes the stop, McIntosh on the other end. Kelsey McIntosh has her first, 13 to six USC. And a timeout called by UCLA. 13-6, that was the score when UCLA beat USC earlier this year. The tables have turned, McIntosh turns and faces and hits all Trojans right now. Bailey Weber, three goals in this one, 35 on the year. She had two when USC beat UCLA earlier this year. And this was something that USC did not do to UCLA this season. 13 goals right now in the third quarter. Even when UCLA lost to USC, it was a 5-3 game. Five goals, that's a great defensive effort. You're happy with that from a defensive standpoint. Just the UCLA offense didn't work there. And then, again, the next game, 13-6, six, six allowed. That's great. The, the best teams, they often look at that seven or eight goals allowed. That's as much as they probably want to give up where they feel like they're still going to be in good shape to win a game. 13 here with 4.30 to go in the third. Obvious statement, but real trouble for UCLA right now. Certainly not the same thing, but for college water polo fans, it, it does remind you a little bit of the 2018 men's final. USC against Stanford. Stanford hosting. USC comes out, gets up real big. Stanford then made a big rally late to try and close that gap. They couldn't close the gap. USC would win. Stanford can tell the story for the Cardinal watch, and they got to win the next year in Stockton to pick up their first title ending a long drought. But similar here in a score that is a bit surprising, 13 to six. And UCLA nearing the four minute mark of this third quarter, now needing to go on some kind of epic comeback. Here's Hill on the ordinary. Pass over the head of Palmer. Allen, left-hander, lets it go. That's outside of the cage and out of bounds. Counterball is into Parker. And she'll move ahead to Mount Megans. Halfway through this third quarter. Backage controlling, now Mount Megans. Back to Backage. Weber battling Johnson in close. A real fight. Out to Megan's now. Got another. Maud Megan's. USC can't be stopped on offense. A hat trick. Megan's the latest to put up three for USC. A 14 6 lead. This is a laser from the outside. 
able to beat Phillips. And they love it up high on top of the parking garage. UCLA trailing 14 to 6. 3.33 to play, third quarter. Leibowitz now. Leibowitz takes a look. Left-hander. Drops it inside, Parker off her line, comes up with the steal. Trying to work inside, Wheaton was in close. Holly Parker is there. Nearing the three minute mark in this third quarter. Here's Bakuch. Weber looking to post. Mamolito gives a look. Now Megans into Mamolito. Ordinary. Shot clock to seven. McIntosh. Timer to four. And they don't get it restarted in time as McIntosh takes a look. They might have dumped it anyway. But now UCLA will take control. Dangerous pass, but it's gathered by Bella Baia, the junior from modern day. Baia trying to elude McIntosh. Ordinary, here's Leibowitz. Now Maxson just lost it. Good defense, aggressive from Megans. Maxson trying to make a move. Now Megans takes it away. Weber now. Spins off Drake. Ordinary call, shot clock to 14. Girol, she's fronted by Maxson. Shot clock to five. Into Girol now. The deal, Mamalito. Shot clock expiring and they'll say no good. It didn't go in regardless. Phillips there with the stop. As Mamalito tried to switch to her right hand and get that one away, Phillips makes the stop. They've got 140 left here in the third. Maxson on the attack. Hill, Wheaton was open for a moment and now USC covers up. Leibowitz knocked down, Baia. Works to Leibowitz, stop Parker. Holly Parker. And that was helped by Megan's in the post. Now one minute left here in the third. Backage. Roxy Wheaton stepping forward and forces the takeaway. Aggressive defense for the senior from Walnut Creek. Part of that East Bay collective that Came down to the Westwood for their college experience. Here's Baia now. Moving in, she'll take Giral for a ride, draw the exclusion. That's the first on Giral, right back, penalty called. And Pintarge can't believe it. Backage came over to knock that entry pass away as it was coming back inside on the quick. And a penalty is called. Big penalty shot try, and Backage there. Looked like it was a nice deflection, but instead Hill will get the opportunity. And hits. Abby Hill, her third. Bruins will take every goal they can get at this point. Hill has three. Big UCLA water polo family, the Hills. She's the last of them. Older sisters, Cody and Sammy, 
standouts here at UCLA. Both spent time with the national team. Sammy going on to win gold with Team USA. The 2016 Olympic Games. And then the non-water polo where the brother Deacon, he is somewhere here on campus. Headed to Wisconsin to play quarterback. Water polo couldn't keep him, unfortunately. Exclusion. And now USC can answer. And it's Hill going off. And now Megan's on the skip. Rattles it around and in. Now Megan's has four. And how about USC? Always having an answer. They work it around the perimeter. Megan's on the skip. That is bar down and in. A beauty. Such a dangerous offensive player. Now 48 goals on the year. USC killing it on the power play. Five for seven. Shot clock is off. Final moments of this third quarter. Palmer. Hill moving in. Palmer takes a look. She's knocked down. Palmer lets fly. Save Parker. And she'll swim out the rest of this third quarter. USC maintains a hold on this one. 15 to 7. They are eight minutes away from adding another national championship to the trophy case. And we're back. Let's look at what Maud Megans has done over the last couple of days. The redshirt senior from the Netherlands headed to the Olympics this summer, and she put up three big goals in the win over Arizona State yesterday, all part of that 10-4 victory. And then she has kept it rolling in the national championship. This is someone who has been an All-American selection every year that she has played collegially with USC. Took off last year to red shirt to focus on training for what we all thought would be the Olympic Games. As we know, the pandemic had other ideas. It got pushed back to this year. She missed some time this year as continuing to work with the Dutch team as part of their qualification. They were one of the last squads to punch their ticket. But she is back. SC, glad to have her. And she has four goals. As Marco Pintarch said quite aptly, one of the most talented players in the world, a game changer. And she has changed this game for USC. 15-7, eight minutes away from their first title since 2018. And their first win against UCLA in a national championship. They are 0 for 3 going back to the late 2000s. And the ball turns over as McIntosh has it on the sprint but didn't make a move with it. And so the ball back to UCLA. UCLA trying to track down a quick eight goals here. Abby Hill moves in. Here's Ayala. And now Maxson. Ayala. Here's Leibowitz. Spinning inside. An ordinary with 14 on the clock. That's an ordinary. You hear Adam Wright yell out one by one. Let's go. And that's part of their comeback philosophy here. Ayala off the post. Long distance. A fight for it. And USC will come up with the rebound as Mina Simmons was trying to take that one back. Close call for Ayala. Second look from distance. This one just off target. Had gotten past Parker. And now Megan's. Long entry. What a catch from Mad Megan's. That won't go in any stat, but impressive. Here's Mamalito. Phillips gets in front of that one. 
Oh, excuse me, Jamia Bent has come back on. So Phillips came in in the third, and now UCLA has gone back to Bent. So Jamia Bent was taken out as USC went on a five-goal run. That's really what changed the, the tenor of this whole matchup. Adam Wright went to Georgia Phillips. USC maintained their advantage, and now Bent returns. Not often you see that. Meanwhile, Holly Parker's been rock solid on the other end. 11 saves for USC thus far. Tahaney. Here's McIntosh. That'll be an exclusion. Simmons goes off. Power play for USC. Second foul on Simmons. Trojans have been excellent on the advantage. Five for seven thus far. Megans looks for another, got another. A five pack for Mount Megans. And USC six for eight on the six on five. Megans hitting from all angles. It's a difficult release to keep track of. Uh, she can let go at a variety of spots. 16 to 7. This was a 3-2 game in favor of USC back in the first half. They ran off five in a row. They made it 8-2, and UCLA has never been able to get back within shouting distance from that. Here's Palmer. Annalise Miller, quiet the last two days, works for Johnson, and it's taken away. Mamalito comes across. And now Parker. Megan's gives a look, and now goes to Weber. USC in no rush here, holding a large lead. 5.20 to play in the fourth, ahead 16-7. Exclusion. Palmer going off. That's her second. A ninth power play here for the Trojans. Megans. McIntosh. McIntosh, here's Mamalito. Megans gives a look. Back to McIntosh, now to Haney. Mamalito, Megans, another one! Six for Mount Megans. And again on the power play, they are wearing it out on the advantage now. Seven for nine. This is a clinic on how to run the six on five. And the Trojans will not entertain any sort of comeback. It's a 10-goal lead. They have blown it open in the national championship bout. Where does UCLA go from here? A turnover. Bakuch has it back. Four and a half to play in the fourth quarter of a game that has been dominated from the jump by the women of Troy. That's an offensive. Ball back to Jamia Bent. Everything that clicked yesterday for the Bruins and their win over Stanford. They haven't been able to get in that same rhythm today. Conversely, USC, they progressively got stronger as this tournament went on. This is why you're in the one seat as well. Their, their road not as daunting as UCLA's. Allen is stopped by Parker. It's the value. And 
winning an MPSF tournament and getting that one seed. Three forty to go. Just an ordinary call. Parker, the latest stop. An exclusion. Leibowitz will head out. A tenth power play here. Here's Megans. Bakic. Now Mamalito. McIntosh. Here's Megans. They're setting her up. Bakic will take it. That's field blocked away. Long rebound. It'll come right back to USC. Sides are even, so for the first time in a while, they don't convert on the power play, but they maintain possession. And now they will get another power play. Ava Johnson goes out. Six on five here for USC. And a timeout called by Marco Pintaric with 2.57 left. Seventeen to seven. This one is all but over. In one of the most thorough victories we've seen in a women's title match in some time. Credit to USC. They came prepared to play. Seventeen to seven, the lead for USC in this the twentieth anniversary edition of the NCAA Women's Water Polo Championship. It was the Bruins that won that very first title, defeating Stanford twenty years ago. It is USC's day today. USC able to go into their bench a bit as Carrie Jensen has come on. They've made an effort to get the seniors some playing time here late in games. Maud Megans has six already. Jensen is field blocked. So Pintarj looking to get Jensen on the board. And now UCLA will call for time. Perhaps Adam Wright will respond and look to get some of his veteran players in. 2.33 left. Typically, the NCAA Women's Water Polo Final, it is a close affair. Four goals, the largest margin of victory in NCAA history in the women's side coming into today. Right now, USC in front by 10. And then you look at the 17 goals that USC has, the most goals ever scored by a winning team in NCAA Women's Championship history, just 10 goals. So that gives you an idea of typically how close these games are. USC rewriting the record books in this one. And Maud Megans, pretty much the MVP. I think we can all agree on that one. Don't know if that's been decided yet, but six goals in the championship, three in the semifinals, that tracks. Nice way to boost herself into the Olympic Games this summer, where she will try and help the Netherlands reach the podium. This one is going to sting on the UCLA side. They don't like losing to USC in anything. And to have it happen in this sort of fashion in their home pool in the national championship. This will be a tough chapter in Bruins history. Here's Palmer. Palmer takes a look. Ayala now. Parker got a piece of that one. Tipped it off the crossbar. And Parker today is what Jamia Bent was doing yesterday in so many pivotal moments. Just getting 
a piece of the ball here and there, deflections. And has been such an important part of this victory for USC. Here's Megan's. Shot clock to five. Bakic got another. Everitza Bakic. Her third, a hat trick. 18 to seven. A result completely unexpected. Not that USC couldn't win this game. They're, of course, the number one team in the country. Top seed. Annually one of the best. But in this sort of fashion, not sure many saw it coming. Usually what happens, even if there'll be a lopsided game during the season, it all goes out the window when you get into that final. Things get very close. But you have to look back at that five goal run that vaults SC from 3-2 to 8-2 that really took the Bruins out of the game they changed goalies to come back with Bent later on but the damage had been done here's Palmer Baia gives a look and puts it away Bella Baia with her first 15th on the year Former Junior Olympics most valuable player with SoCal water polo. Getting one back here for UCLA. We'll try and build onto her senior year next season. And for UCLA, there was the potential to win a men's and women's title in this odd pandemic dual season spring here where the men won in March to win those back-to-back -back just months apart. But not to be, as we're under a minute left in this fourth quarter, as Bent will take a look. Moving ahead to Maxson. From the outside, and Brooke Maxson puts it away. And a couple here late for UCLA. Now 18 to nine. This is still going to set records for most goals scored by a winner in a women's championship and margin of victory. Previously had been four. Parker just taking time off the clock. Trojans in no rush. USC now just preparing for everyone to go for a swim. After the final buzzer sounds in this one. Mamalito. Shot clock to seven. Just three left. And she'll dump this aside. Eight seconds left. They're on their feet on the USC bench. The USC faithful inside and on top of the parking garage. Prepare. The hugs are underway. The clock winds down. The Trojans, they leave no doubt. Champions in 2021. A dominant effort. Into the water goes USC. They take it 18 to 9. The top team once again in women's water polo. Pure celebration in the pool here in enemy territory. The number one seed, but on the road here, taking on the home team, UCLA, and Mount Megan's the center of all the smiles. Six huge goals. And USC adds another NCAA title. Their sixth. 
to go along with championships in 2004, 2010, 2013, 2016, and 2018. And for UCLA, a heartbreaking finish to this season. For USC, we told you about Mad Megan's six goals, Bailey Weber, Veritza Bakic, three goals apiece. The job they did on the exclusion as well. At one point, they're seven for nine on the advantage. And they limited UCLA to just two for seven. In cage, Holly Parker. 13 big stops and a steal for the redshirt senior. Just a complete effort. Wire to wire. Trojans will finish this year at 22 and 1. Bruins will end at 15 and 5 for UCLA. Abby Hill played well, three goals. Ava Johnson added two, including one early. They struggled defensively. Jamia Bent lights out in the semifinal against Stanford, 18 big saves. She's pulled early in this one. Georgia Phillips comes on, and then Bent returns, and the Bruin defense never could get a lock on what USC was trying to do. And then when the deficit became so large, the Bruins were unable to manufacture the offense to keep pace. This one will sting for UCLA. Back in the final for the first time since 2017, suffering their first loss in a final to USC. Trophy presentation awards are coming. Mad Megan's figures to be featured prominently, but it's a national championship win in this 20th anniversary. USC takes the title, the sixth in their program's history in a year when everyone was so glad to have water polo back a year removed from a canceled tournament due to the pandemic. And the Trojan celebration continues. Trojan presentation, awards, and more are coming up, so stay with us. But for now, Greg Meskel signing off. Thanks so much for joining us this weekend. Have a great rest of your Sunday, and we'll see you at the pool again.
thank our host UCLA for their partnership with the success in hosting a successful national championship this year. For sending the awards, Ryan Streeter, NCAA Secretary of Europe.